Lift priority mode. Something good for drivers or a pay cut in disguise. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is the Rideshare Guy. Today we're going to be discussing lift priority mode. We're gonna talk about what it is, we're gonna talk about what Lyft says about it, we're gonna talk about what drivers are saying about it, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So what is lift priority mode? Well, lift priority mode is a mode and a feature that allows drivers to prioritize themselves over other drivers in the area to get more rides. But it comes at a cost, 10%. So you're going to get more rides, but during this time frame, when you have it enabled, it's actually going to pay you 10% less. So whatever your mileage rate and your time rate is, deduct that by 10%, and that's what you would be making during these priority mode hours. Now you're only allowed a specific amount of hours every week as a driver, and these are also supposed to be kept on during the time frame because it's going to maximize the amount of rides that you're going to get when using this mode. So Lyft is saying that this feature was set up during the pandemic to help drivers continue to guarantee earnings for those who are continuing to drive because there were less riders on the road. So essentially what it was is you would get more rides and because of the pay cut, you won't really see much of a pay difference. It's just going to give you more rides during this time. So that little bit of pay cut is kind of going to be a wash, or you might actually see more earnings during this time frame. And they also note that it's best to keep it on while you're using this feature, meaning don't multi-app. And that's going to be the best for you because it's going to maximize the way it's supposed to be intended for. Now drivers are saying something much different. Instead of calling it priority mode, drivers are calling it poverty mode. They're saying that this is just a pay cut in disguise, that it's a really poorly disguised pay cut. And for those drivers who have tried it, they don't really see too many more rides than what they were seeing prior to this. But when they turn the feature off, that's when they notice a difference where they're not getting any rides. So they're saying that not only is it forcing them to try to stay on one platform being Lyft instead of multi-apping because it's telling you use this feature and stay on for that particular time frame. Don't go on and off. It doesn't work that way. So it's trying to keep you on their platform and it's a 10% pay cut. So a lot of drivers are not happy about it. In fact, some drivers aren't even using it and don't want to. Now I want to know what your thoughts are for the people that are in particular markets. Are you using this feature? Have you noticed a difference in rides? Are you getting more rides versus others? What's going on? Are you making more or less? Comment below and let us know. So what are my thoughts on Lyft priority mode? Well, essentially, yeah, I agree with the other drivers out there. It's just a poorly disguised pay cut and a way to guide drivers to stay on that particular platform because it says flat in there that you are best suited to use this program when it's on all the time, meaning don't multi-app, meaning don't go on Uber as well, and also don't go on food delivery or anything. Just stay on the Lyft platform and we'll give you more rides, maybe. <laughs> it also depends on supply and demand. So if there are not a lot of rides that are happening, and there's still a lot of drivers out on the road, you still might not get more rides on priority mode. Now, I don't have this in my market yet, and I don't think that I would use it, mainly because one, I usually take more Uber rides than I take Lyft. About four to one is my ratio. So that means for every four Uber rides I take is usually one Lyft ride. Again, I don't like taking less than what I'm already getting paid for. So that's another thing too. I don't want the 10% pay cut. And I like multi-apping, so I can have multiple apps on at the same time and take whatever comes in first, as long as it seems like it's going to be worth it. So I make sure that I use different strategies on when I'm out on the road to make the best amount and the most amount of money in the time that I'm out. Now, my last thoughts on this particular feature also are, 
Lyft came out and said that this is for specific drivers or a certain amount of drivers. The only problem is it seems like all drivers are able to access this in particular markets that it's available in. So let's use Miami for an example. Now Lyft says that some drivers are able to use this feature, but it appears that all drivers in the Miami market are able to use it. Now this also means that you're able to have many drivers who could be on priority mode at the same time. So it could be a wash in terms of how many rides you're actually going to get because it's gonna come down to supply and demand. Not only that, I also did a video recently on how Lyft changed its algorithm. And this is coming from a mod verified Reddit user uh, who claims to be a Lyft employee and also got, got hold of the rideshare guy and was talking about some of the changes. So if you're able to curtail some of the things to kind of give yourself a higher score on how they're going to rank, what they're going to give rides out in the algorithm itself, maybe this is just gonna be a wash. And again, I wanna know what your thoughts are on this, especially for those drivers who have used it. Are you seeing more rides? Are you seeing lower pay when it's on because maybe you're getting a wash? Are you seeing no rides when you turn it off? What are your thoughts on this as well? So make sure to comment below. That's also the end of this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications because there are new videos coming out each and every single week. And it's going to help you make better decisions when behind the wheel, when you're driving to help make more money. All right, everyone, drive safe.